you're like me, you have a great travel bag. It's lasted. It's really a great piece of luggage. The only problem is the wheel broke. I'll show you in a couple quick steps in a couple dollars worth of hardware how to give your bag a new life. Don't throw this away when you can easily fix it within minutes. Interested? Here we go. First thing you need to do is figure out what kind of bag you have. Okay, so I have a what looks like a screw or a rivet there in here. Open up your bag. Get a side and you see some screws in here that you're going to have to pull out. And yeah, there's two rivets. One here and one up here to take this plastic piece off. The rest of them are screws. Why they use rivets and screws, I have no idea. Here's another bag for comparison. You see that there's two screws here. Open up the bag. And there's a screw here, a screw here, a screw here. So this is an easy fix compared to the other bag because all you have is screws. But the rivets can be taken out rather easily. So you want to get a drill that's going to fit right in this groove here, maybe just a little bigger, and you're going to have to take in that little closer, the back end of that rivet off. So just hold it down and start drilling it out. Make sure you pull back the line. You're going to have a little bit of drill dust in there, but that's okay. Press down on it firmly. Do not try to make holes into your plastic there. That's pretty weak. You just want to stay right in the groove. You just take a flathead screwdriver and just pry off the washer. Try to be careful. You can use two, like I'm using here, and it pops off rather easily. Like that. All right, so now you've taken care of that rivet and just punch it out the other side. Use a vacuum and clean this up before you go much further. And be careful of all these little filings. They are sharp and they're like little metal splinters. Now just repeat it for this rivet here. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and just punch the rivet through. And it comes out the other end, just like that. I think now it's just a bunch of Phillips head screws. Take them out here. One there, one here, one here, and one here. There they are, all four screws. Now this will come off easy. Feed the strap through. And there you've got the wheel section. And that should pop right out. All right. So now you gotta take and replace this wheel. This wheel is not as beat up as this one, but since I'm replacing the one, I might as well replace the other. Switch hands here for the camera. A screwdriver with a metallic tip is great for picking up all these shavings. Now that you've drilled the hole pretty much down through the shaft, you might have to go up this drill size very carefully to take the lip off. I'm going to go up one more size to a quarter inch drill bit because ultimately that's what the hole is going to be. There, it came right off. So you get a pair of pliers, just hold it tight. There you go, you got the hole for the next piece of hardware that's going to go in there. Then just take a Phillips head that fits in the hole and pop the wheel right out. 
Now you're going to want to drill this out to quarter inch. Looks like it's already there. Good. For the wheels, you want something about the same size. And I found a 80A hardness 70 millimeter wheel from an inline skate is the best answer. Keep the ball bearings. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is that the hole's a little bigger than a quarter inch bolt. So you solve that with just taking one of these cheap pens and then slide that inside like I have there. My kids have gone through a whole different bunch of sets of inline skates, so these wheels are readily available and the bearings. If for some reason you don't have any inline skates or kids that have inline skates, you can usually get them at a thrift store for practically nothing or go on Craigslist. People are pretty much giving them away because the resale value on inline skates is practically zero, maybe $5. And then you'll have these great wheels to do all sorts of projects with. You'll also find that most people don't wear down the inline skates at all. They use them for a while and then they move on to something else or they're like their kids grow out of them. You can either turn it in and have this facing on the outside or just take a fine sanding sponge and then just sand off the lettering. For the axle, this is a two inch long quarter inch bolt. You want that bolt to fit in there nice and snug. And if you have to twist it in like that, it really isn't a problem. But you've got a spacer made out of the pen tube. And make sure it freely spins. Put a washer there and then just slide it in and push it through. You just want to make sure it's freewheeling like that. And you can see that wheel is going to last you a good long time. I'm going to use a one quarter inch 20 thread. This is all coarse thread, nylon lock nut. I got a whole bunch of these things. You can usually get four or five for around a dollar. And that's what you're going to put on here. But before you do that, we got to go back and put this piece on. Place the screw back in, and that will be your hard surface that you're going to put the nylon lock nut on. Okay, you're going to take your wheel assembly and you're going to slide it back in place. Pretty tight fit, so you got all the pieces all there looking good. Now you take your nylon screw, work it a little bit to get it in place. If you're having problems with clearance, it's really tight, you can file down one of these little edges and you can push down on it. It takes a little bit of work, but you'll get it on there. This is kind of tough. I used a wrench, just pushed it down real good and then finally caught a couple threads and then it's easy from there on. But you want to make sure it goes in there straight. So now the next thing you want to do is take the other plastic guard, feed that back through, make sure you get that little piece slid in there and then just put in for Phillips screws and then you're going to finish it off with the next set of screws to replace the rivets. At Walmart for a dollar you can get a whole bunch of these screws. You want something that says machine screws flathead. And then you're going to use number 10 washers and get those rather cheap a dollar for a whole bunch. Again I have a whole bunch because of all my different projects and then you're going to use for both rivet replacements you're going to use a number 10 24 nylon lock nut. So you want something that's about as big as the rivet head. So you just push that through. If you have to, just screw it down in place. Go to the other side, put on your washer, use a number 10, and then just crank it in place. If you didn't want to buy the half inch, you could easily do both of these with the three quarter inch. Just would stick out a little more, or you could just cut it down. Do the same thing on this side. Here's the three quarter inch rivet replacement, number 10 screw. Screw it down in place, it'll come out the other side. I like the fact that it's that tight of a fit because that means it's gonna be locked down really good. Put on the number 10 washer, put on the number 10 24 nylon lock nut, cinch it down. You know you've got a good lock nut if you got a couple threads showing and there rock solid that's where a rivet was that's where a rivet was you've replaced those you've got all those in place and now it's as good if not better than new feed the straps through make sure they're all lying flat on both sides just zip it up and 
You're done. Two solid wheels. And the other great thing about this is that now you can tell your wheels apart from everybody else's. Your bag will stand out. It's not just a standard black bag. You can pick any color you want. It really works great. I got the wheels for free. You got 50 cents in the quarter inch, two inch bolts and a washer, 10 cents, and you know, a couple of things if you have to do rivet replacements. So you're in about three, four dollars and you've totally rejuvenated a piece of luggage and now it's gonna last me probably for another 10 years. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more repairs, making things, breaking things, all coming soon.